smoked chicken biryani, chicken tikka masala, mutton curry and more, coming up. India, the world's largest producer and exporter of spices. The country's diverse flavors are heavily influenced by each one's region, tradition, and religion. Traditionally, meals are eaten while seated either on the floor or on very low stools or mattress. In today's vlog, we will have a taste of India at Pepper Tree. And we're starting with biryani. Biryani is a mixed rice dish with its origins among the Muslims of the Indian subcontinent. It's made with Indian spices, rice, meat, veg, or eggs. Pepper Tree's version is smoked chicken biryani which starts with the marination process. The chicken is rubbed with salt, pepper, ghee, or clarified butter, and dahi or yogurt. Then, freshly ground spices are mixed in, starting with garam masala, red chili, cumin, coriander, sumac, turmeric, nutmeg, cloves, bay leaf, black cardamom, cinnamon, star anise, mace, green chilies, and ginger garlic paste. Mix it all together and marinate for 15 hours. After 15 hours, add some caramelized red onions, place a foil on top, add some cloves, fire up the charcoal, add it with ghee, and start the smoking process for 15 minutes. Next, heat up the pot, add some more ghee, add the basmati rice, season with salt, and cook for 33 minutes. Lastly, prepare the cucumber raita or yogurt dip, mix some grated cucumber, the heat, sumac, cumin, red chili, chat masala, and pink Himalayan salt. And voila! <laughs> Smoked chicken biryani. And this just smells and looks amazing. Simulan na natin. Okay, na pa ako naglalaway. Yung sinerve sa akin, chicken breast. So, tignan natin. Oh my god. Goodness, you know, 15 hours of marination. You know, the spices It's not super spicy. It's spicious, if there's such a term. So, it's a smoking process. It's a meat and rice. Mm, so, tender ng chicken. Ah, it's not a sauce. I don't know if I'm lang ako kasi favorite ko talaga. Usually half rice lang kana ko. This one really complements this because syempre marami na siyang spices. So yung counting heat kumbaga nababalan siya nitong raita which is cucumber with yogurt. So guys, hala ko di ang mga dekem. Indian students who live nearby come for their comfort food, makni dal. Butter lentils is a makhni dal, typical Indian household dish. It pairs very well with uh, creamy chicken kebab, beef kebab, or could be had as a main. It's a vegetarian dish, but it's like how we have our green mungo here. There's a, this is a black mungo that we use, and a bit of kidney beans. The creamy chicken kebabs are one of my favorites out here. Freshly grilled when an order happens. You can taste a bit of cilantro. There's some amount of cheese in there. There's food cream. Served with the mint and cilantro chutney, it pairs really well with it. Pork masala sisi is a typical Filipino dish made in the traditional way. We in fact boil that in a pineapple juice and we add spices during the boil process and in the end. So you get garam masala taste, gives you the depth, gives you the hotness and you get the sweetness of the pineapple juice. Chicken tikka masala is chunks of chicken marinated in spices and yogurt, grilled and folded into a rich curry sauce which is creamy and orange colored. Chicken tikka masala just arrived and I ordered it with the uh, roti prata. Try mo natin yung sauce, masyado mainit. Mmm, rasa ko agad yung butter. Tapos daan-dahang mahabol yung mga spices. Parang may pagka ano siya eh, maasim. Wow, gradual yung pagpasok ng mga spices. Hindi siya yung yung manununtok ba. Sobrang lasal lasa ko yung mustard oil. And then yung spices, walang sobrang naglalamangan. It's really good. Destroy the kambing or mutton curry. 
Mutton curry is an Indian curry dish using mutton, which is slow cooked with whole and ground spices in a large pot. This dish is similar to Filipino calderetang kambing. Oh, kan lambot. Sobrang lambot ng boat. Nasa salty side compared to the chicken tikka masala na nasa sour and light side. Pag gumawa ka ng spicy caldereta, para siyang ganun. This goes well with rice. This tikka goes well with the roti. Pwede mo siyang gawing light snack na kambing, either rice or gawing polluted with beer. Here is a rice pudding made by boiling rice, broken wheat, tapioca, or vermicelli with milk and sugar. Flavored with cardamom, raisin, saffron, cashews, pistachios, or almonds. It's gonna be my first time trying an Indian dessert. Kaya siya medyo yellow. It's the saffron. They use it sa mga desserts nila. Itong kheer and kulfi. It's full of textures. I can taste that cardamom flavor. I don't know if familiar with saffron, so I don't know if I'm It's very milky, rich, it's not overly sweet. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you for doing this as well. Daniel Wan. Daniel Wan. Pepper Tree is located at the Pop-Up Katipunan. They're open 7 days a week from 10 a.m. to 12 midnight. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite Indian dish? Comment below and I'll see you on the next video.